going to show it to you. And so she took it and she went home and of course she calls me the very next day and says, I have the music for that. I'm like, so? I mean, really, I have never had any intention of ever singing it if it, if it did become a song. Too personal, you know, very too personal, right? So she sang it to me and I went, you know, great job. It's, you know, it did turn out to be a nice song. I'll give you that, it's nice. But I didn't want to do it. And the Lord went, guess what? What? You're going to do it. <laughs> so I did it, and it's great. You know, it's been interesting to see how the Lord has used this song in so many people's lives that don't know the background behind it. They'd be driving down the road, they'd hear it, and they on the radio or whatever, and they would have to pull off the road because they were crying so hard they couldn't drive. Wow. It's just... You hear those stories, and you get goosebumps, you know? Because God becomes real. It's not just an idea. Okay. This song is called To the King. To the King who gave everything for me whose body crucified high on Calvary's tree, whose redemptive blood makes way for me. I now give everything to the King who came in the form of a child, a powerful God, and yet so mild, whose obedience shows the way for me. I humbly come to thee, to the kingdom.
this 